everyone welcome back if you do not know my name is Devin. here on my channel i cover all things beauty that includes makeup fragrance and designing here and there if you think that is something you'll be interested in then i hope you stay and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when i upload. and in today's video i am doing a super exciting video featuring the brand new kaoli eden sparkling lychee and it looks like this so if you are ready to see my first impression on this fragrance and you want to hear my thoughts, then just so I got this yesterday. It is available in Sephora stores. And if you don't know, um, Sephora is doing a one-time coupon for 20% off your purchase. So I definitely got this at the right time. Um, and I've been holding it since yesterday. I'm ready to open it and try it out with you guys. So um, let's go. Okay. And this is the box. We already know what Kaoli's boxes look like. So we're gonna go ahead and open her up. And this is the bottle. So it's super, super pretty. To me, it looks like a really pretty light peachy color, but I guess it is the same color as the fruit lychee or lychee as everybody likes to pronounce it. Um, so it looks like this. So I don't know anything about this fragrance. I just knew I wanted it um, because I am a huge Kaoli fan and I do really like Mona um, and I love her fragrances majority of the time. Have realized is that sometimes with these type of fragrances, you have to let them sit a little bit and then they get a little bit better. So yeah, the bottle itself is absolutely gorgeous. So here's like a little Bean bottle because these are the keynotes. Um, this is black currant sparkling lychee rose damascus candied violet sugar amber and sandalwood. So um, I think this is supposed to be like a sister to Eden Juicy Apple. Now I don't actually like Eden Juicy Apple. I don't really like it. I do have it, but it's not one of my favorites. Um, but I was just excited and I really, really just wanted to test it because I have been loving, um, I love the fragrances from her that I have. And yeah, don't forget one of these days I am going to be doing a ranking video. So let's go ahead and do a first impression and go ahead and smell her. So. smell that juice already Ooh. oh so far oh she's good she's good okay I definitely get the black currant and I personally I like black currant I do get this very sparkling note in here it's very bubbly effervescent it's giving very, very sweet and fruity. Oh man. Now, I smell a hint of rose somewhere in here, but it's not like, it's not bad. It's not bad. I definitely get the sugar violet in here. This is like a little roller coaster of fragrances. Like I literally can smell each and every fragrance on this bottle. Oh man, like this is good. I wanna spray this on my skin cause I don't have anything on today. I'm sweating so bad. I have on this sweater, look at this. It says happy, hollow, thanks miss. <laughs> Ain't it cute? My aunts got me this. I hear my family back, so let's try to hurry up and make this quick because I have family here visiting and they finna be loud. Spray it on my skin. Yeah, this is beautiful. Ooh, she did something with this one. This is so pretty. Yeah, I love this one. You hear how loud they are in my background? 
yeah now y'all know this is not a like actual thorough review it's not on you know um like the longevity or anything like that it is just a first impressions what i smell how i feel if i like it and so far i really really do and it's different this is a little bit different for anything that i have in my collection but to me it's more of a like spring scent i think this would be perfect for spring but because it has this really pretty like sparkly note in here and you get that it feels party-esque like it's giving new year's eve daytime new year's eve party or something like that is that's what it's giving and i can see myself wearing this but to me I might still try to wear in the winter time, especially since, you know, where I'm at now, this might fly, but I feel like this is going to, like, this should have been a springtime scent. So pretty. I definitely get the lychee or lychee notes in here. It is amazing. I get the rose. I get the violet. Um, I don't get a lot of the sandalwood yet. Now, that might take a little bit longer to develop in its fragrance or maybe have it a little bit more on my skin. I do get this sugared amber note in here. Like I get amber, but it's so much sweeter than like the regular amber. This is good. This is so pretty. She definitely did that with this one. So I'm, I'm thoroughly, really impressed because this, you know, some of her fragrances, they kind of be up in the All air. right, so we are kind of interrupting the original video. So the original video I did was actually a first impressions. Okay, cool. So I did not get it up when I wanted to get it up. So I decided to um, just come back and insert this little clip of me talking about this fragrance because I have already wore this fragrance for the last three days. So I can give you a little bit more of how I feel. I can't remember what my initial reaction was. I know I said it was pretty, it was bubbly, it was effervescent and things of that nature. Um, as you can see, she got a little dent in her because I have actually been wearing her. So I actually have her on today. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it for you guys. Um, so I can tell you what I smell here and then how I feel about it. So initially on the paper, it smells really, really sweet, really, really juicy. Very, very pretty, girly, bubbly. Um, I am hearing a lot of people say that this is very candy-like, and it is. It's very candy-coated-like, like a sweet candy coated over something. Um, very, very pretty. I do not get the rose on my skin, thankfully. It is really pretty, though. It's very, very beautiful. But what I will say, unfortunately, this does not last nowhere near what I would want her to last for a $90 fragrance. It does not. Um, and I'm very, very sad about it. So I did want to go ahead and compare these two really quickly. This is Champagne Toast. I keep hearing people say, it smells like Champagne Toast. It smells like Champagne Toast. I realized I didn't have Champagne Toast in my collection, so now I do. So now I can spray it for you guys and tell you if it smells like Champagne Toast. It does not smell like champagne toast to me. It is very pretty and bubbly like champagne toast, but these two do not smell alike. This one is definitely more candied sweet, where this one is a little bit more tangy and berry-like and still sweet. They're both still really, really fruity, but they don't smell alike to me. They don't smell alike. so. You know what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this one on my hand. Hopefully I don't have, no, I don't have. I'm gonna spray this one on my hand. And then I'm gonna spray this one on my other hand. And we're gonna do that, we're gonna see. Because on the paper and in the cap, they don't smell anything like. Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all, kind of smell like on my hand. Oh my goodness. Not exact, but they definitely smell very, very similar. Basically, I mean, they're not identical, but they definitely smell extremely, extremely slim, similar on the skin. Oh, crazy, because on the paper and in the cap, they don't smell anything alike. 
That is crazy. That is crazy. So I will say if you like champagne toast, okay, if you like this, you're going to like this. Now, what I will say, my problem with this one is it is beautiful. Um, it is bubbly. This is something that I think I would reach for way more in the spring than I will right now because this is not what I'm looking for right now. But this would be a perfect um, New Year's Eve scent. And I want to say I said that already, but like a New Year's Eve daytime scent, a brunch daytime scent. That is what this is giving me. It's really girly and pretty. So blown away that these actually smell similar. They do smell similar. That is crazy. This one is still a little bit more sweeter and fruitier, but they give like the exact same vibe. So the reason why I actually purchased Champagne Toast is because I wanted to pair it with this fragrance and I think these are gonna pair beautifully on top of like the body cream or something like that because my problem with this one is it does not last. Put this on this morning at like 11 in the morning. By the time we got back at like four, I could not smell it on myself and usually fragrance sticks way more but this one is just so light um i love the fragrance itself i think it is beautiful but the longevity is absolutely not there in this particular fragrance so i don't know if you know it will get better once it sit because i do know a lot of k Ali fragrances do get better you know once they sit but i don't know if that's going to make it last longer if that makes any sense but um the fragrance itself is beautiful it is beautiful i have heard people say that it's super juvenile at all i think it is very feminine i think if you are like uber girly and super dressy and just like pretty girled up this is the perfect fragrance i feel like this has no age but i do feel like it is very youthful if that makes sense um, so I thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. I did use my Sephora 20% off for this fragrance. Um, so, you know, I'm glad I got it for the 20% off because it makes it a better value, especially since the, you know, longevity is not there. Like, it's just its own small itty bitty bubble. Like, it's really pretty, really girly, but it does not project at all. Like, I don't think this is a projection. I don't think it has any projection or anything like that. So that is my unfortunate experience with this. You know, a lot of people have different experiences and I really don't have a problem with fragrances sticking to my clothes or sticking to my body. But for some reason, this one just does not stay past three, four hours at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish out the video and then let me know what you think. But what i will do is i will wear this a little bit and if you don't know i do do like fragrance hauls and stuff like that i will do a fragrance haul and i'll be able to talk to you guys a little bit more about it and them she is definitely nice it's crazy that i get every last fragrance note in here minus the sandalwood i get all of them kind of in order of like the way i'm starting to smell things but Overall, I do get this really nice bubbly fragrance in here. It's very, very fruity and very, very sweet. Like this is definitely a sweet, fruity fragrance. I, I mean, it has florals in here, but it's not to me. It don't smell overly florally. It doesn't smell overly florally, but it is really, really pretty. So um, I can't wait to wear her a little bit and then I will update you guys. Um, you know, like I said in the fragrance haul, how I feel about it. So yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy, and I will see you guys in another video.